Peter Obi, who is Obi Gregory Ongobase on the Sowayek 1978 certificate? Abayomi Arabambi ask. Can you imagine? So, who is Obi Gregory Ongobase on the Sowayek 1978 certificate? Can you imagine? So, that's the question you guys are asking. Peter Obi has come out to explain everything about his credentials. So, why? It's Arab and becoming out. He went to TVC to speak because that is their TV, TV house. Let's dive into the details and see what uh, he's trying to say. At this uh, uh, Arab and B. So, Abai Omi Arab and B, who serves as the National Publicity Secretary for the Lamidia Papa led faction of the Labour Party, has claimed that there are inconsistencies in the educational credentials of former Governor Peter Obi. According to a video posted by TVC, Arab Bambi stated that during a press stated that during a press conference, Peter B disclosed that his original birth name was Peter Ongoba Seobi. He then questioned why the 1978 YX certificate of Obi carries the name Obi Gregory Ongobasi. So he also questioned why Obi's NYC certificate bears Obi Gregory Peter Ongobase, while his certificate from the University of Nigeria Asoka carries Gregory Peter Ongobase Obi. So what is the difference? Now what for these people, okay? So the the, uh, the syntax arrangement of the name is what is the issue here. All the names are mentioned and there is names. So what is happening here? However, I'm being reported that Mr. Obi stated in his press release, and I quote, I won't simply begin by presenting my academic records. I will begin by introducing myself. He affirmed the name bestowed upon me by my parents at birth is Peter Ongobase Obi. Questions are now begging for answers as follows. Who is Peter Ongobase Obi? The name he said was given to him by his parents. Two, two, who is Obi Gregory Ongobase on his Hawaii 1976 certificate? Three, who is Obi Gregory Peter Ongobase on his NYC certificate? And finally, who is Gregory Peter Ongobase Obi? on his university of nigeria certificate these are four different names that contradicted what he claimed in his press conference <laughs> but look at the arrangement all the four names are complete in this arrangement peter gregory Ongobasi obi peter Ongobasi gregory obi peter gregory Ongobasi obi peter Ongobasi obi gregory so what are we talking here it's the same name that is being rearranged and rearranged and rearranged okay so what is what is diffuse here that is the question what is diffuse here okay because arab and b is just creating some attentions creating some narratives and, and creating some propaganda so as to distract the labor party distract the public okay why are you a labor party and you are is tvc of all tv stations the tinubu's own station is where you are going to mention it all these are people that have been paid by Peter Obi, sorry, by Tinubu to be in those camps and causing confusion. Yeah? Just like, uh, uh, what is his name? Um, um, uh, what is his name now? Mwike is in PDP and working for, working for APC. Um, uh, Renaud Mokri is also in PDP and working for APC. And at the same time, we see Arab and B and Alami Papa in Labour Party working for APC. Okay. Uh, so that is what is happening. These are people that have been paid by APC and they are the maggots in the in the in, in those parties causing problem. Okay. They are just like they say the 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 ant that eats the leaf lives inside the leaf, or the ant that eats colonot lives inside the colonot. So the ant that is eating the Labour Party is inside the Labour Party, planted and kept there by the opposition parties. That is what is happening. And uh, it's a situation that is very pitiable. Okay. And that is exactly what the character that Arabambi is displaying, or even though he claimed to be in Labour Party, but they are just busy causing problems in the Labour Party and working for the position. This anti-party activity, and that is why they have suspended them, and rather than remaining suspended, 
they choose to go to court because the court is their own they continue to cause confusion it's just like uh, where they say if you catch a thief and the thief tells you to go to court know that the judge is his brother that's exactly what is happening yeah that's exactly what is happening so there are a few comments uh you know are people reacting to what arab and b had just said and let's hear them somebody says supporters of forgery and illicit business will be asking questions as to shield tinubu and his forgery certificate scandal okay that is that person's view and that person is saying but he did not forge like your master tinubu okay but b is from a state he has classmates he knows his age tell your drug baron to introduce himself to nigeria because the reasonable Nigerians don't know him except criminals like him that knows him. Can you imagine? <laughs> the thing here is that uh, this is why both uh, PDP and Atiku, Labour Party and Peter B, they have asked Tinubu to reintroduce himself to Nigeria. And they are saying he doesn't need to do that. Hmm. Okay. So if you look, somebody is saying, I swear Nigeria should thank God if Obi one election he will be worst president in the history of africa devil is better than obi the most useless presidential candidate in the history can you imagine <laughs> i'm a smart you know all articles turned obedience okay would have been hamas over wild can you imagine eh? okay and somebody is calling him idiot, okay, for making that comment. Say Tinubu is the best. Look at the level of hunger, though you won't know just because you are one of his syndicates in forgery and drug business. Can you imagine? Peter B is a lila. Imagine coming out to speak like a cent. Okay. Oh. Eh? Peter B is a scam. That is what somebody is saying here. How is he a scam? And uh, they already sorted themselves. Okay. So the fact remains that uh, Peter Obi has explained himself through a press conference, introduced himself and his certificate and everything about him. But Tinubu has not done that. That is what people are saying. So Arab and B is just staying there in the in, uh, Labour Party but working for, uh, working for, for APC and causing confusion. That is the truth. And someone is coming out to say, let me ever hear again that Yorubas are the most educated tribe in Nigeria. Have you? Yeah. And somebody is saying, tell you your president has never, has never cleared himself. Oh, let him come and tell Nigerians and the whole world what he knows about himself. That is it. That's what Nigerians are waiting for. Okay? And somebody say, what do you expect from someone with pass in English? And can you imagine? So they are still insulting uh, uh, Peter B. So he has passed in English and mathematics and he presented it to regional. So let the person that had gotten first class present his own now and we have seen that it's forged. So which one is better? I have passed, but it's a genuine pass. It is my own. And the other one, I have first class, but the first class is forged. I did it. It's not my own. I didn't earn it. Which one is worse? Which one is even a criminal offense? It, you know, so when people are saying something, they don't even know the implication. All right, so thank you for listening. Unless I have a comment, that is the narrative that Arab and B is trying to create to cause destruction.